we're talking today about simulation that we use at UND in the College of Nursing. And simulation as a general tool is used to provide clinical experiences for students um, in a really safe environment. So this is our newest family member. Her name is Victoria. She's our birthing simulator. Some of the things that she can do for us, she blinks, she responds to questions. Good morning, Victoria. How are you doing? Oh, I'm okay today. So she can respond um, to the students' questions and that helps them suspend that disbelief a little bit that she's just a doll or she's not a real person. So they communicate and we encourage them to talk to her, not to us back in the control room. Um, so that's another really nice feature that she has. Uh, she has a heartbeat and she has lung sounds. And then the really fun things, she has an actual um, baby in her tummy or her abdomen that we can feel the position that baby is in. Um, she goes through a labor process where she gives birth um, and that is also very realistic for the students who might not have that experience live. Um, we can control her uh, vital signs such as blood pressure, pulse, and even the amount that she bleeds um, with a computer system that's kind of behind the, the control room wall over here. We are the control panel for any of the simulators that are in the room being used. This is the voice of the patient, so at any time I could be, hi, I'm not feeling so well. There is an option where we can go into pre-recorded area. The baby's coming! Victoria also has the capability of accepting IV fluids, which is a part of making this simulation realistic. Um, so the students can put in an IV catheter and simulate fluids running, and they get an opportunity to work with the equipment and manage the IV pumps. So here is Victoria's baby, and he also is very lifelike. Uh, when he is born, he cries, he moves, his lips can turn blue to signal that he's not getting enough oxygen. Um, he has the weight that would be realistic with a real baby, so I'm going to let Allie hold him and just be sure you're cradling his head. Again, we, we want to be realistic. I think it's a very um, ingenious way to let nursing students have a comfortable environment to practice, perform their skills, um, practice more, uh, gain more confidence, and then be able to um, relate it to clinical scenarios and be able to learn from anything that happens here and then able to apply that to our clinical practice in the future as well. We have found and the, the research bears out that simulation is as effective as live clinical experiences for um, giving the students the knowledge and the skills that they need to be successful practitioners.